Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using Textbox events to run subroutines with Excel VBA. On this worksheet, I have a green rectangle connected to a subroutine that opens this user form. This user form is named main, and it has two text boxes, text box one and text box two. And I want to set up events so that depending on the circumstances of the interaction with text box 2, a message box appears. So I'm going to move over to the Visual Basic Editor, it's Alt F11, and you can see I have the open form subroutine, it just has the one line of code, main.show, that opens up the user form, and then the user form main with these two text boxes. So if I double click on text box 2, by default, I'm going to get the change event, and you can see that over here on the right drop-down box, event change, and you can modify that here by selecting a different event. I'm going to use the change event for this first example. So this will just be message box, and then in quotation marks, change. Let's see how this behaves on the worksheet. Click the green rectangle, open the user form. I'll enter a value in the first text box. I'll use tab to move into the second. And as I begin to type, the subroutine is triggered. Right, so I have the message box change. Again, if I put in another value, it comes up. If I delete the value I have in there, it runs that subroutine. So anytime that text box is changed, it's going to run that subroutine. Move back to the Visual Basic Editor. I can move below this subroutine, add another subroutine just by selecting another event, and this will be tied to the text box as well. And the next one I'm going to add is Enter. So notice the change subroutine is still active. So moving to this text box, to underscore enter subroutine. I'm going to do the same thing, add a message box, except this time the word enter. And I don't want the change subroutine to function for this example, so I could just delete it, uh, but in this case I'm going to put an apostrophe in front of the one line of code in that subroutine. It changes the font color to green and that line of code will not be executed. So even though I'm going to change the text box, there's no code in the subroutine that will run just this one comment. So this one, the enter event is active. I move back to the user form. Again, I go to type in a value in the text box one, tab, and before I can do anything, the message box comes up. So I'm entering the text box and the subroutine is triggered. And then of course I can enter a value, click tab, I can exit, click tab again, and it's going to trigger because I'm moving back into that text box. That's enter. We can also have an exit. So go over here to the events, select exit, and I'll leave the enter subroutine active, leave the code active in it, message box exit for this exit subroutine, move back to the user form, enter a value, click tab, and you see the enter comes up, I put a value in the text box, and click tab again, and the exit subroutine is triggered. The last event I'm going to demonstrate this example is going to be the mouse move. So I go to, again, this drop-down box. In this case, select mouse move. And I'm going to set this up with a message box, consistent with the other message boxes here. And this will be mouse. I'm going to disable these other message boxes. I don't want them coming up for this example. So this one is the mouse move event. And if I move over to the worksheet, open the user form, 
I can enter a value in the first text box, click tab, enter a value in the second text box, click tab again, nothing happens. This event is tied entirely to the position of the cursor. So when I move the cursor over the text box, the subroutine is going to run. So you'll notice every time I do that with that message box coming up, I can't enter data in that text box by moving into the text box with the mouse because the message box always comes up. I can click tab and I can change that value, but I can't move in with the cursor because of that message box. So using this event with a message box may not work well. Uh, another idea could be to use a label. Right, so from this toolbox, I'm going to move a label onto the user form. And I'm going to make the font color white so it's going to stand out against this blue background. So for color, change that to white. And I'll change the font to make it a bit larger. See by default the caption is label 1. I'm just going to delete that from the properties so it's not going to have a default caption. So moving to this mouse move subroutine, I'm going to comment out the message box, mouse, and I'm going to change the caption for label 1. So it could be label 1 dot caption equals, and I'm going to use again mouse. I'll move back to the worksheet, open the user form, and again I can enter values, I can tab in, and nothing happens when I move the cursor over the text box, the label changes to read mouse. So in this case I can use the cursor to change the value in text box 2, because the message box isn't coming up and blocking that, instead I'm using this label. So this might be a way you can inform a user about some characteristic of the text box. For example, what type of information that's supposed to be entered in the text box. However, keep in mind that this will only be displayed when the cursor is moved over the text box. So if they use the tab keys to get into the text box, this comment will not display. This label, the value of this label will not change. So they won't see the word mouse in this case. What may be preferable to achieve the goal of displaying a message when a user enters into a cell would be the enter event. As I demonstrated before, here with this message box. So here I'm just going to comment out the line of code that changes the caption, move up to text box to enter, and use label one dot caption equals enter. And moving back to the worksheet user form, I type in a value in text box one, click tab, and of course that's going to trigger the subroutine. I'm going to change that caption value, and I'll reset this. And similarly, if I enter a value in text box 1, and then I use the cursor and click on text box 2, it also runs that subroutine. So that may be a more efficient way to display a message than the mouse move event, because it captures both using the tab key to get into the text box, and the mouse. If you found this video on using text box events to run subroutines using Excel VBA to be helpful, as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.